Hey everyone, this is my second run on Divine Refrit to Lufania Plus and this run features a more aggressive strategy than my first run which was centered around mo using multiple tanks to tank all the attacks from Ifrit and the Fireball minion. So the party that I'm using here is a combination of Makina and Afmao, essentially utilizing Afmao's turn manipulation from her LD to allow Makina multiple turns so that he can spam his HP burst attack. The third party member I use is Bash, and that's really only to soak up the threshold attacks, the Divine Hellfire plus attacks from Divine Ifrit. So the first part of the fight is essentially setting up so that Makina can go into a very juicy burst mode with Cloud of Darkness friend in play. So at the start of the fight, what I did is actually reset the fight until I have a turn order of Makina, Bash, and then Afmao. So Makina actually starts the fight by using his LD and then spamming Awakening until his EX is ready. And that's mainly only to get his EX buff up so that you can get his uh, counter attacks when you hit the threshold attacks. During Basha's turn, I mainly just use his LD and I also inflict Hyolo with the Kurosame LD buff. Now it's important here to actually use Kurosame LD first and keep Kurosame base call for later on in the fight because the LD from Kurosame enchants Makina and Cloud of Darkness with Ice enchant during the burst mode phase. Next up with Afmao, what I did is just have her use her LD targeting Makina and then I had Makina go into burst plus to get his burst aura. Right after that, the idea here is to spam brave plus Puppet attack with Afmao, and it's important to use her Brave attack and not the HP attack because the Brave attack provides debuff immunity to the party so that the party won't get debuffed with Fire Resist down from the Fireball right there. Also, at this point, you should have taken roughly about 10 actions, and the Fireball will buff Ifrit with uh, HP regen. And right before I swap Afma out, I actually had her use the Ferris base call. And that's mainly to debuff the boss and remove the HP region buff. And right after that, I swap her out immediately for Cloud of Darkness. The best time to bring Cloud of Darkness is when Makina is at 6 turns of his burst aura remaining. Because that's where you want to go into burst mode with Makina. Now luckily right before that, I had a turn with Bash and I had him use the Kurasame LD call so that I can enchant the party with ice and inflict Kyoro. So with that setup is complete, I have Cloud of Darkness out in play, I have Bash with the Kurasame LD call aura up, and right before I go to burst mode with Makina, I had him use Kid Sif LD call to get Kid Sif's LD aura. Now, Kid Sif isn't critical here. If you don't have Kid Sif call, you can also use other call abilities that provide some sort of party brave region or brave refund mechanic. Uh, examples include Iroha or Ursula call. They should work very fine as well. So, with 6 turns left on his BT aura, what you want to do is just spam HP attack with Makina all 6 turns inside the, his BT mode.
Now because I've passed multiple HP thresholds with Makina and I've also passed the 29% HP threshold, right after burst mode what will happen is the fireball minion will use flame plus and trigger the orb and will reduce all the enemies debuffs by 4 turns which essentially cleanses Ifrit and Ifrit will also do multiple divine hellfire plus for every 20% HP threshold that you've passed. None of it really matters because Bash will just tank every single hit. So what you want to do at this point is just reapply debuffs and go into summon mode with Shiva. The best time to pop Shiva summon is right before you hit the 29% HP threshold because if you happen to just take too many turns and you've passed the 29% HP threshold with Ifrit, you will trigger another Divine Hellfire plus which will cause break and delays on your entire party. So the, the idea here is before that happens, I actually want uh, my Aphma to come back so that she can rebuff Makina with her LD and this also gives you time to reapply Spiral Linchpin with Makina as well. So I'm pretty close to 29% uh, and Cloud of Darkness will do too much damage so just to be safe, I pop Summon here and I have her use Zero Form Particle Beam. The, the attack of choice with Cloud of Darkness here is Zero Form Particle Beam if you have 5 stacks of her overhead mainly because it does more concentrated single target damage rather than split damage across both enemies. So here is where I take the opportunity to reapply debuffs. So I had Bash call Kurosame base call and I'm also trying to quickly burn out Cloud Darkness's remaining turns so that Aphmau can come back and reapply LD on Makina. Right here, I actually made a slight mistake. So this is Makina's natural turn, and during this turn, the best course of action is to reapply his Spiral Linchpin by using his LD. I completely forgot about it and I actually used his HP burst attack, so not really optimal play there, but um, that actually reminded me that I needed to reapply his Spiral Linchpin. So the last part of the fight here is to once again go back to abusing turn manipulation with Aphmau's LD so that you can get multiple HP burst attack off with Makina to quickly finish off the boss. At this point also, the fireball minion would have rebuffed if it with HP regen. So my next course of action here is to actually try to stack as many debuffs as I can to push off HP regen. So you do that by using Spiral Linchpin with Makina and you have uh, Faris LD call with Aphmau and after that, you can just have Aphmau use her HP puppet attack because that actually inflicts a speed down debuff on the boss. So I, I very nicely just managed to hit 8 debuffs and push off the HP region buff on, on Ifrit. Uh, and here I'm just uh, finishing off the boss with uh, Makina here. At 9%, Ifrit will use his Divine Hellfire Plus. So ideally, you want to remove the HP region buff before he does that because that attack will delay everyone by 2 turns and likely give Ifrit and the Fireball 1 or 2 consecutive turns after that. You aren't really in any danger because Bash is still standing there and all the HP attacks here are AoE HP attacks so uh, you essentially can't die as long as Bash has his LD buff up. Yeah. 
Alright, that's it for this run. Overall, I think it could be optimized a little bit more, maybe shaving off one or two more turns. But I am pretty happy with this run overall, so I'll just take it as it is. As always, I hope the video has been helpful, and if you did enjoy the content, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. It really helps a lot. Till then, I'll see you guys in the next Lufania fight. Bye!